Gemini, I just feel like I want to tell you that you make me really happy. Like, for real. For real, for real, though. You make me really happy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And out of everybody's reading that I've done so far, even though after you, I still got, like, four more people to go, I got very specific instructions for you. And I'm going to write that title down real quick. And we're going to take our time. Um, we're not going to rush you. I, I actually like you. So, um... I'm going to name this reading very specific instructions, very specific instructions. So I hope you like to talk or I don't know, somebody could be doing like a red table talk or watching a red table talk or watching like a, a, a round table conference, but we're going to take our time with this and have a real conversation. So um, let me get two cards for you and then I'm going to do what I was told to do. So let's see what's coming off for Gemini energy. This reading is for Gemini, someone rising in Venus. I really like you. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord, Jesus is a fire. All right. Gemini, someone rising in Venus, please. I really, 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 really like you. Oh, shit okay let's just take all three fuck it all right so the first card that we have is uh you can readily i'm sorry Ooh, wow you can radically change your results by shifting your beliefs so what belief is limiting you then we have the great awakening walk in your truth stand firm in your light how can you trust yourself more oh wow this is a major shift for you gemini i feel like you guys are going through a uh a spiritual awakening or some type of awakening to a truth and then lastly we have everyone is on their own journey how can you focus more on your own path wow gemini so i feel like you guys are like ditching somebody behind you're leaving someone behind oh my god i'm hearing that mariah carey song and if i say it and now and now it's too late so the public page me because I'll be on my way. So pack out your diamonds and clothes. Just let your mama, she knows you're going to miss me, baby. Hate to say I told you so. So the instructions that I got for you was to turn all of the cards upright before I start. So let's just have a conversation real quick while I do that. We ain't going to take too long. But yeah, I feel like you are realizing, Gemini, that uh, something or somebody was holding you the hell back. And I feel like for a while you hid in the shadows behind this person or, you know, you was like, OK, you know, if I give love into the situation, if I pour love and pour back into them and, you know, just show them, them that I'm here for them and that I trust them and that I will allow them to drive my boat. They will, you know, respect me or love me or, or give me something or return the favor. And then I just feel like there is an energy of like them never giving you your boat back. Like you let them drive the boat or drive your car or do something for a little bit of time. And then when it got time for them to let you do the same thing, they said, hell no, like I'm I'm out or they or they got real funny on you. Like, I don't know. It just was like they, they started. This feels like you being very vulnerable with somebody or trusting with somebody you know just letting them know that you're there and then they got real real crazy on you like and so you realize like maybe i'm limiting myself by believing that you know there's only one way to do something or maybe i'm limiting myself by believing that i have to be with this person in order to make some shit shake i don't need nobody i don't even need um you know the person that i thought i needed i, I don't i'm good by myself i'm better by myself that's i feel like that's how you're feeling so now you're like doing your own thing more so now, like you're trying to just think about you and you only. If you got kids, I feel like, yeah, you think about the kids too. But even that is just kind of like, no, I'm going to do what is best for me. Good for you, Gemini, as you should. And I feel like, you know, you're realizing that everybody cannot come with you. Or even if you do love somebody, there's only a certain extent of how much of their energy can join you or how much of their ideas and beliefs should impact you before Y'all still have to be your own individual person. So I feel like somebody is learning how to be independent instead of codependent. Like somebody was really like 
someone's evil twin or just a twin in general this could also be a situation between two twins who are finding their own identity outside of being twins i feel like i hear somebody saying like i'm tired of wearing the same clothes i'm tired of having the same name i don't want to call you twin you're not my sister you're not my brother like i'm good <laughs> it's just me i'm changing my name i'm changing my hair i'm changing everything like this is my identity okay gemini I wonder what planets are transiting in your house. But let's get started on this reading. We ain't going to make this long. So we have the three of wands here. Yeah, so I feel like you are looking for a place to call home or you're looking for your identity or you're looking for something that you left behind in pursuit of something that did not work out. So it's just like, okay, you're starting from scratch or, you know, the number three could be very significant for you. I feel like uh, three days, three weeks, three months. Something could have happened last uh, March, March of 2022, you know, where you just was kind of like thinking that a path was going to lead you somewhere. I don't know, but I feel like there was a, a rude awakening or a, a really swift awakening to you realizing that this is not a good idea or um, somebody is just a little bit off. Like they're, they don't have all of their marbles in their jar or some shit like that. And um this probably isn't safe or it's not a good idea or this might not even for some of you this will not pertain to you i feel like you could have realized by watching somebody else and how they deal with their situations that they are not all there like this could be like the energy of you go out to dinner with somebody and they start popping off on the waiter because like the salad fork and the meat fork is mixed up and it's just like bro it's not that deep like are you okay? <laughs> I, I hear you asking somebody that. Like, are you good? Like, are you sure? Because you're acting like a little bit weird. Like, so Pisces energy and Taurus energy is on the board. Yeah, I just feel like somebody wasn't really, uh, they didn't really plan something all the way through. It's like they got something started, you know, or they started something impulsively. Like, okay, yeah, I mean, you know, this would be a good idea. Let's just do it. Um, But they fucked up not making a plan B. Or they fucked up not uh, writing down their intentions or like specific details about what it was that they were trying to manifest. So this also feels like the energy of like you ask the universe for $10,000, but you don't say how you want it to happen. And then, you know, you get that $10,000 by getting hit by a car. So now you got to do the settlement stuff. And it's just like, damn, I, I got the money that I prayed for, but this is not how I wanted to get it. Like now I got to take off from work for three months or three weeks or three years or some shit. But I'm definitely seeing a car accident here too. Somebody could have been drunk driving. This is not going to resonate for all of you, but I feel like somebody was um, driving a vehicle recklessly or possibly under the influence. I feel like somebody is trying to figure out uh, where they left their phone or their drugs or something like that. Somebody could have been on hardcore drugs or some or some shit like that. Or at least this is what other people thought that they was drunk. So we have the Ten of Cups. I'm hearing a whole lot of liquor by Ruby Rose. But, you know, I feel like uh, for the most part, somebody did something very impulsively because they just were wanting a piece of joy or a piece of happiness. It's like somebody settled for something or they just went all in for something because they felt like, you know, this is going to bring me happiness or I'm going to be content doing this. It was a very it was a very harmless decision. It wasn't a decision that was supposed to kind of like uh, hurt anybody or be malicious. It just was like, you know, I really wanted to do what was best for me. You know, I felt like I was being held back. I felt like, you know, there was always roadblocks in the way of me getting and obtaining something. So I, I took a leap of faith. Queen of Wands, Leo energy, Aquarius energy. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so, and this is very specific. So if you took a leap of faith with a Leo or an Aquarius or a Pisces or a Taurus, this person, they're um, they're definitely off. I feel like this person was not using their intuition. They were not tapped in. Like, they, um, they kind of had the right idea, but their approach was off. This feels like somebody who is like, they have great intentions. Their intentions are pure, but the delivery is ass. I hate when people say that too. I hate when people are like, oh, well, that's just how I am. Or that's just how, 
that's just how I operate. Like, if you can't get with it, then you can get lost. Or if you can't get with it, you're weak. Like, this is that type of person who, they don't have empathy or they don't have uh, grace. They're not understanding. They're very um, one-track minded. They just know what they know and that's all they know. They don't think about how anybody else could feel. They don't put themselves in other people's shoes. They don't, they don't have that skill or that ability yet. They might not ever have it. Especially if they're over the age of 50. Because I'm seeing like a maternal figure here. Like a grandmother. Or a matriarch. A mother, a sister, an auntie. I feel like this person is just... Mm, stuck in their ways. We have the six of wands here. Yeah, so I feel like somebody was so focused on like achieving something. Or getting accolades from something. Or being present. Or being supportive. You know, they didn't really stop to think about what it was that they were doing or what somebody actually needed or what somebody actually was there for. It's like somebody lost sight of the bigger picture here by doing something too quickly or, um, yeah, okay, so overall energy is the Eight of Swords here. I feel like somebody ended up in jail or in prison, in spiritual jail or mental jail because something just went by so quickly you know, and I also feel like somebody tried to include someone else in on a situation where they were not supposed to be there at all. Like, who even let you in the club? Like, this was supposed to be VIP only or like RSVP. Like, you cannot get in unless you had an invitation. But I feel like this person crept their way in or they were invited and they just didn't know what to do. I feel like somebody embarrassed the hell out of themselves on stage. This is going to be for some of y'all. Like somebody went to go perform and they forgot the lyrics or they forgot what they were su what they were su supposed to say. <laughs> I can't even get the sentence out. But um, yeah, I don't know. This is interesting. I'm hearing, oh, where, oh, where could she be? And this is interesting because it's like somebody upstairs is hella lost. If you guys have like a neighbor on the second floor, I feel like this person is just out of control like they might do drugs and and drink and play loud music all hours of the night they don't give a fuck about how the people downstairs is gonna feel <laughs> but yeah whoever is on like the top floor or whoever is like the older person in this situation i feel like they just i don't know you know I'm, I'm, but i'm definitely seeing like two people here who were trying to um do something what's give me one more overall energy card for the eight of swords the king of cups i said what i said that's what i'm hearing I, I said what i said like nobody's going to make me think differently or feel differently this is just what it is okay what's your title again very specific instructions eight of swords and the king of cups i'm hearing the truth will set you free or somebody needs to um stop being so abrasive mentally like i feel like somebody thinks way too hard about stuff and it kind of blocks their emotional state like somebody needs to pour more emotions or more love into the situation instead of being so rigid or so uptight yeah we got the king and the queen of cups age ain't nothing but a number so what is the instructions here and then i'm gonna close this out because I feel like you guys are all over the place. Or whoever you're trying to work with is all over the place. Or they were. Five of Cups. Five of Cups and Three of Cups. So the instructions is... Huh... You might have to turn your back on a group or on like um, on an idea or on a community or on a collaboration. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like you got to turn your back on a collaboration because somebody is too close minded. I feel like you are way too like passionate or loyal or um, invested or honest for somebody. Because here you are, Gemini, with the King of Cups energy and here they are in the Eight of Swords. Like somebody is just locked up chained up you're trying to get through to them they're not going to be able to hear you like you're, you're you're trying to give somebody very specific instructions and they are like 
They cannot hear you. They don't speak your language. Somebody in this situation, for some of you, could be like deaf or you're trying to learn sign language ASL in order to communicate with somebody. But this feels like a language barrier or a culture barrier here. I feel like you have to turn your back on something because you're misunderstood. Or, you know, you just understand that somebody doesn't have the capacity to understand you. Misunderstood. I like you. This is interesting. It's like somebody is infatuate, infatuated with you, Gemini. They like you. They, they are enamored with you. But then they just don't get you. And then it becomes like a battle because you guys are like, you know, you like each other. But then it's just like, no, I don't agree with that. There's no compromise here, though. Okay, uh, Gemini, just make sure that, you know, you're not letting anybody tell you where and how to go. I swear I said that to another sign. Don't give me the line. I don't know which one it was, but I love y'all. Moving on to the next one. See you.